I don't really know how to start this video because I'm actually like super excited for this thing. This is the Logitech G Herman Miller Embody Gaming Chair. This thing is like 1500 US dollars and today we're gonna unbox it and take a look at this freaking thing. So the first thing that we're about to see is apparently you don't have to put this thing together. It all comes just in one piece and it's ready to go. So let us open and see how this goes. Watch it just be like broken and in pieces. Broken and in pieces? Oof. All right. Mere seconds stand between you and science-backed ergonomics. No assembly required, just sit down and enjoy exceptional comfort for as long as you want to game. Lift this up. Okay. Come on, box. I'm actually really confused here. Yeah, hold on. Lift this up. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I didn't read the instructions. Apologies. It's really, it, it is step by step and I couldn't even follow those steps. All right, what do we got here? It doesn't tell me what to do from this point on, so I'm just, we're going for it. Oh, it just rolls out. Yo, what isn't here? Is this a joke? It's just an empty box. Just for padding, obviously. Man. Whoa. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. This looks a lot different than I thought it would just based on like the images and pictures I found on their website. So right now at home, I am using an old need for seat chair that we used to have here at the office that I bought secondhand from Linus because it kind of doesn't work for like 30 bucks. I've been using that for probably about four years. And then the other chair that I've been using is actually the Cougar Gaming Sofa, which I did a video on Short Circuit, which you can check out here or here. I always forget which way the link is. Yeah, so this is probably gonna be an upgrade. We'll find out. The need for seat chair that I have, the armrests don't go up. The casters are uneven. I could probably fix that, but when I move my whole, everything kind of just goes tilted a little bit. It rattles, that's sometimes fun. Yeah, so you could say I'm pretty much a chair expert. So going back to what I was talking about before, what's really cool about this chair is that Herman Miller and Logitech teamed up to create it, right? So it's supposed to be the kind of ultimate gaming chair, combining you know Logitech's experience in gaming accessories and Herman Miller's experience in ergonomics and chairs and all the other stuff that they do. So the thing that I'm looking forward to trying out the most is the back fit and posture fit technology, which is all of this stuff on the back, which is designed to fit to the way that you sit in your spine by adjusting this knob. So apparently you sit in it, turn it clockwise, and then whoosh, it'll actually kind of adhere to you in a sense, providing you what I assume will be fantastic support. But uh, there's only one way to find out and that's by sitting in it. So we're gonna sit in it and it's gonna be sick, I hope. Or it's gonna be a waste of 1500 bucks, but find out. Right after we talk about today's sponsor, Vincero! Vincero creates stylish watches that are elegant and built to last. All of their watches are designed in-house and are created with ethically sourced materials. They provide free shipping, 30-day returns, and a two-year guarantee. So if you want to learn more about Vincero, you can head to the link in the video description. And if you make a purchase, you'll save up to 30% off your order. It's good stuff. Oh, oh that's nice. That's nice. Horizontal movement, feeling good. Time for a caster test. Very smooth. I'm glad, I almost went right back in the box here. I'm 160 pounds, I'm five foot six. In terms of width, I've got a fair amount of room here. We've of course got adjustable armrests. Actually, what's really cool about these is that they're curved, so when you raise them up, they're actually raising in towards you a bit. These have a little bit of give when you really shake them, but oh my God, can you not twist them? Shut up. Shut up. Can you not twist these? No way, there's no way. $1,500, don't you dare, don't you dare. Just stop, stop that. Where's the $1,500? I'm just kidding. The biggest thing with this chair, like I said, is the back support. So right now, I definitely feel it down here, like my back is supported. Now let's try the posture fit tech. So clockwise, that is this way. So funny, I don't know what I'm expecting, but I'm expecting something. 
The only problem with this is, I don't know if it's just my posture in general or how short I am, but I'm actually leaning a bit to turn this knob. And I think that's kind of screwing with the way it's adjusting. And I've now turned it all the way. It will not turn any further. You want me to adjust it? Sure. John will adjust it for me. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, it's, it's pushing in when you're going clockwise, obviously. When you're going counterclockwise, it's pushing out. So actually, I would have it all the way, essentially. I, I feel support. So the, the problem I always run into is when I actually have back support, sometimes it almost feels uncomfortable just because I'm not used to it, probably because I've been using such terrible chairs to game in for the last seven years. But I definitely feel supported with this. Is it worth 1500 bucks? I mean, you're gonna have to come back after like a 10 hour game sesh, I guess, I don't know. Another thing that's really good for ergonomics is having your knees in kind of a 90 degree angle. So what's really cool about this chair is that you can actually extend this based on how tall you are, or how long your legs are, and you can actually retract it too, literally just by pulling it. So that's actually kind of neat. So while looking for a way to adjust the height of the chair, I actually just figured out that there's actually two knobs to control the back fit and posture fit tech. So this back one, you can actually see it moving. And this one I can also feel just like the other one. When I turn it counterclockwise, I can actually go into kind of a more laid back position, something that I'd probably use for like watching movies or kind of just hanging out. And then if I'm gaming for a long period of time, I can go clockwise, cinch it up with my back along with the other knob and you're kind of all set, right? So this is for your upper back. This is obviously for your lower back. Ah, ah, I figured it out. So the thing that you turn for the back fit technology, this little blue thing, you just, you just pull, you just pull it up. Oh, ah. beauty. Okay. How high, how high does this thing go? That's it. That's how high you go. How low do you go? Uh, I'm pretty short. So I'm going to go to as low as it can go. <laughs> and I'm actually going to keep that in. Beauty, so, oh! Just figured out the armrest too. Guys, I didn't read the instructions. I don't know if you can tell. So armrest, this is great for gamer rage. You get mad, you just lose, you, you just lose your scrim, you're just stupid. And then I'm ready for the game again. So just to get kind of a comparison, we've actually got a like $400 Vertigear chair that I'm gonna try sitting in and just kind of try to evaluate some of the differences. So one thing I'll say is that this thing is very supportive. Like I feel supported on all parts of my body, essentially. Um, the only thing I'm not really a fan of right now is the armrest. I don't know. I actually like the being able to swivel the armrest, being able to hit these when you're really mad though. Some of that's satisfying. So. I'm gonna try this thing out. Oh. It's bad, it's not good. Yeah, nothing. I don't feel anything to this chair. Give me that chair. Now for another comparison, we've actually got an Ergo chair, which is probably a more closer comparison for sure. Goodbye gaming chair. Hello back support. I thought it was gonna fall. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, definitely feels better on the back. There's not as much support because there's way more give, right? Like this, I mean, is easy if I'm really jittery all day and I want to move a lot. Like, I don't know. I don't know, just having the option to slide your armrest forward and backwards kind of nice. But I definitely don't feel nearly as much support on this chair as I do on the Herman Miller Logitech G and body chair. But it's a gaming chair. Let's figure out how I game in it, okay? Let's test out some games. <laughs> While we're queuing up for this game though, it'd be really cool if these chairs could have support for LTTstore.com. You know, just, just a little right there. Bam, stay hydrated all day long. Oh, I got a match. Usually I play Sage, but enough people have told me that I suck with Sage that I just don't play Sage anymore. Hi everyone, go look, have fun. Twitch.tv slash Linus Tech. Hey, what do you guys think of the Herman Miller Logitech G gaming chair? Do that at the end of the game. People are like genuinely concerned. No way, you're not Linus. So I'll say already that th what's really cool about this chair too is just it's got a lot smaller of a form factor. So being able to get the back support and everything else and the, having the chair being so small helps for smaller desks. This desk is quite a bit bigger than what I have at home 
but it's just nice to be able to actually get you and know, get the arms under the desk. You know, I got room, I'm supported, my back's upright. I'm ready to game here. I don't know how I'm gonna do on game performance, but that's okay. That's not the chair's fault if I suck at Valorant, okay? Posture feels good. Like that's the, you know, I mean, that's one of the reasons why they made this chair. And that is the biggest thing that I'm noticing between this and everything else is that like my posture is remaining good. I find after like even five minutes of gaming at home, I'll just be like, and it comes down to the material too. Like this material is definitely a little bit more, I don't know, supportive. It's not like that like polyurethane leather. So I'm not just like sliding all over the place. So another cool thing about this chair is that it's got copper infused foam on the seat, which is meant to keep you cool. So I'm wearing pants right now, but it's um, just another thing to look out for, you know? It's pretty cushy, but not too cushy and not too hard. I'm digging it. Also, I died. Shoot. But no, it just feels like I can actually like lean back and it doesn't feel like it just gives away. Bam, that back support. Oh yeah, like I like aggressive lumbar. So like this feels like my lower back because it usually gets sore because I'm a big heavier. You just feel it. Like, mm -hmm. I just want to like sit down and sleep. <laughs> sleep in that? Riley, give it a try. Riley, get in here. Is this the uh, Herman Miller one? This is the Herman Miller Logitech G Embody Gaming Chair. Embody. You meant to embody you into the chair. Embody the spirit of the gamer. Yes. Are you a gamer, Riley? Whoa! Ah! Ah, it's happening! Do you like it? Do you feel supported? Um, emotionally? I mean, maybe emotionally as well. I, I like don't know. I feel like it's pushing me forward. Like, I, I just want to lean back and it keeps... It keeps... <laughs> I think that's the point. You see that? <laughs> It's like, it's like pushing, it's like, Egh. It's like, oh, just relaxing. No, you're, oh, yeah. What's these hooks for? The hooks? Yeah, what are So that? you can actually pull the seat out. Oh. Bam! How's that feel? <laughs> that was scary. Yeah, you can actually pull them back too. Uh, you, so you kind of have to raise, like get pressure oh, off of it, and then yeah, you can, yeah. yeah, yeah, there you go, oh, you got it. That's so weird, but also really cool. Um, so one thing I want to ask you, uh, yeah. the armrest. How do you feel about the armrest? Trying to adjust them. Whoa. Does that feel good? What? What? Yeah. What? How do you feel about that? What the heck? That feature. Maybe if someone had like really like tiny arms. <laughs> You're talking about me. What? <laughs> do you have it like that? No, I don't have it like that. Should Linus uh, have this chair? Like an evil overlord. Should Linus have this chair? Yeah. I mean, it's a, how expensive is it? It's uh, 1,495 US dollars, but it's free shipping. 12 year warranty, I believe, 12 year warranty. You know what the coolest thing I thought about, uh, that I thought about this chair, Colton, mm -hmm. is this back thing. What's going on here? The back thing. This looks like a, this looks like some kind of weird cyborg spine. Yeah, it's gonna thing. meld to your spine. Does it? Yeah, so sit back. So you've got a knob, you've got two knobs actually on your right hand side, turn them clockwise. So that one's for your upper back, the other one's for your lower back. Do you feel it doing anything? Yeah, so this is their bar support. Exactly. So this is their posture fit and back fit technology. You know, I'm not going to lie. I expected a little more elegant solution for this from Herman Miller for that price. I mean, this thing's so cool. It's like, it looks like you're literally just extending the actual seat. Yep. But the, down here, the, what, what, if I want to adjust things, I'm like, yeah, having to contort your body to be able to yeah. do it, that's kind of annoying. So actually, yeah. I didn't know if tall people would have the same problem, if but. I'm a, if I'm a rich man, yep. I expect to have like an electronic big <laughs> I thought you were gonna say you'd expect to have somebody to help do that for you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. It comes with a tiny person. <laughs> so I've got Nicole, she's one of our new editors. Uh, she sits to edit, so I figured she'd be a good candidate for this. So come try out this chair. Let us know your thoughts. Ooh, this is nice. Is your back feel supported? Wow, yeah. Yeah? Way more supported than like, than usually. Cause usually it's like, I'd have to adjust it and everything to make it feel semi-decent. But this is like, ooh. So your feet aren't fully on the ground. I yeah. think you, the, using that blue knob, you can push that down and that okay. should lower you a little bit maybe. Ooh. I think, it, there you go. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then the other thing that you can do, so the handles right in front of you, you can actually pull those forward or back. So I would, sorry, these. You can actually pull them back and it'll actually move the end of the chair in or out. You might have to lift up your legs a little bit. Oh, I see. There we go. Interesting, so now it's like. Yeah, it's a little bit shorter. So the idea is that you can get your legs like 90 yeah. degrees, bam, you can sit. 
<laughs> ooh! <laughs> Review, ooh! This is great. Would you pay 1,495 US dollars for it? Okay, maybe not. Maybe not? <laughs> no. You get free shipping. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fine. Now it's time for the outro. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah. What a roller coaster ride. I mean, this thing's pretty sick. I'm excited to see what is to come. Like, if this is kind of their first collab, I'm excited to see what Herman Miller Logitech other companies kind of do in the future. Like I said before, melding gaming and ergo chairs is sick. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Make sure to like, get subscribed. Let us know if you want to see more chair content on Short Circuit. You know, I, I like doing these. They're a lot of fun and, uh, We'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.